<laughs> Starbucks, the coffee chain, not backing down from its decision to tackle race relations. The company's CEO defended the campaign at a big annual meeting on Wednesday. ABC's Neil Karlinski has that story for us. This morning, Starbucks CEO speaking out just hours after launching a huge campaign about race relations in America, which went over like a cold cup of coffee. People were incredibly vocal. Here's yeah. one. Race together is what happens when a one percenter without any actual anti-racist education or training has a midlife white man's burden crisis. Well, you know what I'd say to that is that uh, no good deed goes unpunished. Starbucks hoping to get people talking about America's race problems by having baristas write race together on cups, an idea quickly met by an avalanche of criticism online and on the air. Are white people cranky in line before they even have their coffee? <laughs> yes, they are. Is a black man that's in line talking about his oppression with his people going to make them cranky white people crankier? Probably, yeah. Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz says he genuinely wants to help by using his company's popularity to do some good. Why do you think people are so angry with your campaign? All we're trying to do is create awareness. But what I would say is that the rules of engagement in trying to create change in America is a very difficult thing to do. He says he wasn't surprised by the reaction, but even one of his own executives temporarily shut down his Twitter account because the backlash was so ugly. This morning, Starbucks isn't cutting its campaign short, but rather hoping people take it to heart. I think this is an issue facing the country and facing our people, and we're trying to do some good. For Good Morning America, Neil Karlinski, ABC News, Seattle.